Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of filming in the woods vlog. So to film underwater, I'm going to use this GoPro. It has a waterproof case here. As you guys can see, it's uh, GoPro Hero 3. Uh, you guys know about GoPros, this is not a very very old version, uh, so don't expect any crazy underwater footage. It might not be that good, but I think it's going to be pretty cool to see a different perspective, see what we capture. So I will be attaching this on a fishing net. As you guys can see later, when I'm at the woods, I'll show you that the fishing pole later. I need to find a string to attach this to the net so I can catch some tadpoles and film it. So yeah, this thing's pretty cool, pretty old, but you know, it should do the job as a waterproof case and let's go all right guys so here is the gopro and i got the string for the gopro as well and here's the net that i was talking about earlier so i couldn't find a better string so i had to use one of my shoelaces but hey it works so i think we're good to go here i'm probably gonna tie this around here maybe and over here we have a jar that i will potentially be putting all the tadpoles and maybe even adult frogs and you never know I might catch some of those. I'm probably gonna tie the GoPro off camera because this could take a while. Uh, probably around here. Alright, I'll see you guys when I'm done. Peace. So I just finished tying the GoPro on the net and I noticed something jumping. And look what we have here, guys. Our first creature of the day and it's a grasshopper. Let's just try to get a closer look at it. Hopefully it doesn't jump away. See how well it camouflages. I mean, look at the tall grass here. It blends right in. This guy looks to me like he is ready to fly. Almost ready. Because I can see that he has some tiny wings now above his abdomen, as you guys can see right here. Let's try to touch it to see what it does. It doesn't... Okay. See, I mean... Look at those red legs. I mean, I've never seen a, a, a grasshopper with red hind legs before. Let's get a better look at him here. He jumped off. Um, it's actually my first time seeing a grasshopper here. Uh, I've been here for many times and I've never really seen one. This is actually my first time, so that's pretty cool. Let's try to touch him again, see what he does. Probably gonna jump away feel like let's see okay okay yep he's just hopping off so i think i'm not so sure but i think that the population of grasshopper here is so low because of the amount of predators there are dragonflies frogs spiders there's such so much predators here for these guys to survive you know let's get one last shot of this guy and let's keep moving this guy is very lucky to be alive here awesome Okay, so I got the GoPro set up on this net. We're gonna go ahead and look for some frogs. Alright guys, I just saw something really cool. I uh, wanted to show you guys. I'm gonna place this net down first and try to film it for you guys. So let's go. Check this out guys. A spider wrapping its mule. Again, I'm not an expert and spiders but i think this is some kind of orb weaver spider just wanted to, you guys to see that real fast and let's move on okay so again i'm gonna be using this jar here to put whatever i catch in here as you guys can see it's a fairly small jar um not too deep uh because i honestly think that we won't be able to catch any frogs today because they're extremely difficult to spot and they will do whatever they can to avoid any set of movements above them Okay, so I'm going to try to film myself putting down the net here. Uh, we'll see how that goes because it could be more difficult than I think. Yeah, it's actually harder than I thought. I'm going to try to scoop it just once for the camera here. But I'm going to set the, down, I'm going to set the camera down after. Look at all these green plants. You guys see this? I'm going to set the camera down. See, as you guys can see, there's all these green plants. I literally just scooped the surface and all I've got was all these green plants. 
So it's gonna be more difficult than I think. And we have some snails here, a bunch of snails actually. They're just at they're just attached to the net here. Pretty cool. We'll keep trying, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna place the camera down in a good angle, and we're gonna try to see what happens. Here's my second scoop. See what we get. I'm gonna try to go a little deeper this time and more green stuff i mean i don't think we're getting anywhere here guys but keep trying let's see what the gopro captures as you guys can see the creek is filled with this green stuff and this, that same green stuff is what is what's blocking the vision underneath here. So I'm pretty much going in blind here, see what I can catch. But okay, I'm gonna try to clean this green stuff off, and we're gonna go catch some tadpoles instead because. All I'm getting here is just a bunch of snails. It's so hard to see down here. Uh, I will meet you guys when we go down the creek down there. Uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so the camera is set up. I'm gonna jump to the other side so I can get a good angle here for you guys. Let's turn on the GoPro here. GoPro is live. Let's do it. Okay, first try here. Let's see what we get. Don't worry guys. We're gonna get something. I'm trying to get a good deep scoop here. Wow, actually nothing. Okay, don't worry guys, there's gonna there's a lot of tackles I see because I see them. We'll definitely get some here. Just gotta do it the right way. Alright, let's try again. Okay, I see, I see one. I see he went in the net. See if we can get another one here. Um, nope. Let's just let's just uh put him in the jar for now. I think one is good for now. I'm just gonna grab him gently and place him inside the jar. Also, don't worry, guys. I put some water in the jar off camera, so we should be safe. Let's go for another one here. Okay, we got it. We got another one here. I, th I think it's a tadpole this time. Okay, you guys see him swimming in there? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. It's awesome. Let's get this guy inside the jar as well. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off the GoPro here, and we'll go I'm gonna go grab the camera so we can get a closer look at these little guys. I'm going to be jumping on the other side now. Okay, I have landed safely, let's go grab the camera. Alright, here they are guys, safely inside the jar. Look at these guys, how cool is that? I mean, these guys look awesome. So we got one tadpole, and let's turn it around here. And the other one has four legs. He has two developed hind legs, so he can sort of jump now I believe. They're just swimming around in there. Look at them. Uh, so I'm going to pick them up for you guys. So we can get a better look at them. I'm going to set this down first. And get ready to. You know put them on my hands. And we'll get a closer look at them. Okay so I'm going to gently pick the old older frog up. And first. And let's see if I can grab him here. There he is. Now these guys are actually very dark. So you can. You can't even see their eyes. Their whole body is uh, literally black. I'm not sure how long they can stay out of the water, so I'm gonna place them back in the water here. And we're gonna pick them up with my other hand here. Let them get a, get a breath of water. Pick them back up. Here we go. Wow. I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> now, if you're wondering how this guy feels, he feels very slippery. It feels exactly how it looks. 
place him back in the water. Let's, and let's grab the other guy now. The tadpole. Now these guys I gotta be very gentle with. They're still young. And I mean look at this guy. Like I said, they have these tiny whiskers hold on, on their close to their mouths and that looks exactly like a catfish so take a look at him one more time there he looks a lot like a little miniature catfish and these guys are awesome let's get one more good look at him in the jar view place him right there and let's get ready to set him free again okay guys we're gonna set them free here thank you guys so much for watching through this second part of the vlog into the woods I think this part was much quicker and more fun to watch because I get to interact with the frogs. As always, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up, uh, comment what you guys think, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys on the next video.